Find the volume and surface area of a right rectangular prism with dimensions 9 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 3 centimeters. Alright, so I'm going to draw a picture of these. It will not be to scale though. This picture, which will help us, hopefully, maybe. Uh, didn't say you had to draw a picture, but we did because we think it's going to happen. So to find the volume of these, let's uh, take. We're just going to take all three dimensions and multiply them by each other: length times width times the height, or whatever. And I'm going to put that in my calculator. So we got 324 cubic centimeters for the volume. All right, now let's go through these uh, rectangles, Radical. Let's first identify, we've got a left and a right side. Uh, let's find the areas of those two rectangles. And since they're the same, it shouldn't be too bad. If I draw this in, we can see that is the right side. Mm -hmm. And that would give us a rectangle, maybe something like these. This is 12, and that's a 3 centimeters. So if I multiply these two, I get the area, which would be 36 square centimeters. So I'll write that in over here. Centimeters squared or square centimeters, but the right side is the same. And that takes care of the left and the right side. Now let's look at the top radical. And also the bottom, which would be the same as the top shape. So we're looking at the top and the bottom faces. And the top right here, if we drew this as a rectangle, we can see that one of the side lengths is 3 and the other is old 9er. So when we want the area of that, we just multiply those two together and we find the area is 27 square centimeters. So we'll write that in. And it's the same for the bottom. Now we're looking at the front face and also the back face. So we just need to find the area of these two rectangles. Radical. So this is our front face, which if we draw it, that would give us a 12 by 9 rectangle, which would mean that the area, surface area, is 108 centimeters squared. So we'll write that in. The front face is 108 centimeters squared. Same with the back. And to find the total surface area, we just need to add these together, which we could kind of do in just a calculator but let's go ahead and add these together our final answer will be in centimeters squared so we'll put that there and for the surface area I get 342 centimeters squared and we have both that's all we need